What's going on everybody? I'm going to do a, I don't know, a video on what I see a lot of people doing. You know, they'll go around to big box stores and do like, hey, what's Home Depot got? Or hey, what's Lowe's got? Some people go to the dollar stores. Hey, let's see what we can find for Christmas or Thanksgiving or Halloween at the dollar stores. You know, I'm just starting this N-scale model railroad and I don't have a lot of things, you know, right off the bat, tools. You know, little screwdrivers, things of that nature. I don't want to spend big bucks getting started. So anybody new to the hobby, you know, they're you want to spend your money on track or foam or something like that. But glues and knives and all that good stuff, you hate spending a lot of money on it until you, you know, feel you're comfortable with the hobby. You might want to go out and buy the more expensive stuff later, but on my workbench, I had stuff rolling around the table and a lot kept losing things. And I found this. A little tray keeps everything from rolling around your bench or, or getting lost or something like that. You know, dollar. So I found this cookie sheet. Same thing. I keep all my little bits and bobs on there. And I don't lose nothing. I got a little thing of screws there. It stays on the tray. Dollar. Oh, let me drop my stuff here. Hold up. Sorry, dropped my cup. So, you know, a lot of times you go out and you, you're building a model. You need styrene. Now, this is not at the dollar store. I'm just giving an example. You know, this comes in different thicknesses. Polystyrene sheets, build walls, and, you know, anything you want. So, when I'm working on the small projects, you know, I'm working on that Bel Air Viaduct. I needed some little bracing that you're not going to see or it's not going to, you know, be very important to model. I got a for rent sign. Plastic. It's not too terribly thick, but it does what I want. You know, I've already used some of it. Dollar. You know, I find most of this at the Dollar Tree. You know, the green store. You got the yellow, the red, and the green one. Dollar Tree. You know, I go to three different ones, and not all three carry the same stuff. So, some of this stuff is couple different trips that I've run into. Hey, check that out. I think I'll use that. And I thought that was a pretty good idea right there. Like I said, dollar. You know, I got metal files and things that I get from the hobby store. I keep losing them. Found this little metal desktop pencil holder. Holds my pens and my files. Dollar. You know, one thing I thought cool too, if you got other parts or maybe you're working on landscape, you got this little container right here, three different compartments. Maybe you got rocks, sand, maybe some grass. You can use your spoon, get it out. You know, people use Ziploc bags, which you can get at the dollar store also, but I thought this was kind of neat. You got a nice flat tray to sit somewhere. You got a lid. Same, uh, along that same lines, I found this. This is a women's nail polish holder you know put your little bottles in there well this is a perfect size for the testers brand square little glass bottle for paint i've seen some round ones different you know manufacturers that fit in there got a little tray up top Let's think about actually drawing holes in there and this will hold my files right up here or your paint brushes dollar you know, all the gluing you got to do. You know, people go out and buy Elmer's glue or wood glue, or whatever. They had this big, what is it? Eight ounces. Eight ounce white glue at the dollar store. Dollar. Of course, everything at the Dollar Tree is a dollar. The uh, yellow one and the red one, you know, they got all different type prices. But the Dollar Tree, everything in it is a dollar. One thing I thought was cool there, too, I found this. You know, you usually find these for a dollar most places, but I priced something this size at the other stores, and they're three, four dollars. But what was neat about this one, it comes with two extra blades. You know, this one will extend all the way out. You can use it to cut through some of that foam you're working on, or the side cuts. You know, they got that long blade. And they'll snap off if you doll them out, and you can keep snapping them off. And you got two extra blades with this one. Dollar. This was amazing too. Foam brushes. A whole big old pack of foam brushes. When you're messing with paints, stains, if you're messing with a wood model, dollar. It's crazy.
crazy. Now, I don't know if you'll use this for modeling. It's a telescopic mirror, little angle. Maybe you're looking around something. You could use this for anything. But hey, you could be working on some interior of a model, warehouse or something. You need to see it and work on it with tweezers. Dollar. It's crazy. You know, you just go out and spend a lot of money on precision screwdrivers. Like I said, you're just getting started. You want to spend a lot of money. These were only a dollar. Now, grant, they're not the top quality, but you're not working on a car. You're working on a model. You got all these different sizes. Same as that little blue and uh, silver pack you find places. Dollar. It's crazy. Super glue. I know some people do use super glue. In that store that I went to, it had three or four different types of super glue. This one's got four in a pack. Couldn't believe it. And I have used it on some other household stuff, and it works just as good as that brand name. Dollar. Crazy. I know some people go around and they, uh, you know, ballast their track. They get the little brushes and they sweep the little ballast between the rail ties and all that. Dollar Tree had them. Little ballast brushes, I'll call them. Dollar. This was a great score right here. This next thing I got. I went up to the local hobby shop and I needed some sandpaper to get the burrs off your little plastic when you're cutting off your model things or whatever. Or you screwed something up or you wanted to make it smooth. I got a three pack of these from the testers brand it was almost four bucks a three or four pack look at this monster 36 pieces of sandpaper nice size to work on different grits 80 grit 400 grit 150 grit 100 grit there's even 24 grit in there 36 pieces dollar it's awesome. You got some tools or whatever you don't want laying around your bench. Look at this thing. Nice little toolbox. You know, maybe you don't want the screwdrivers on your bench. Or you don't want the super glue or the big old knife. You know, maybe you just don't got that much space. You know what that thing? Put it in here. Dollar. It's crazy. One thing I did find fascinating, they got a little hobby section. They have some, you know, little crafty paints and things like that. So, yeah, they got some paint brushes and them little ballast brushes. But I found these there. Look at that little faux moss stones, you know, little plastic pieces or foam pieces. They got the fake grass on it. I'm sure some modeler out there could use these for a, a diorama, their layout, anything. You can put different colors and everything which you want on there to make it fit your model. Look at that. You'll spend four, five, eight bucks at a hobby store trying to buy something like that. That's a dollar. At the Dollar Tree. It's great. It's crazy. You got to get some. I'm just fascinated by that store. You know, like I said, I've watched many videos on people. Hey, let's run through the dollar store, see what they can get. You know, I've seen guys that were survivalists, you know, they'll get the ropes and the lighter or whatever they find there. A little crappy knife, throw in their pocket. But when it comes to your hobby, it's great. If you walk in there from time to time or check out a different store, different location, you will find something you need to work on your model railroad with. I wouldn't pass it up. It's a dollar. You ought to check it out. I hope you all like this video. <clears throat> like I said, dime a dozen out there, but this was my take on it. I will be going back to the dollar store. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button, subscribe, hit that bell notification for more because I'll be posting some more on this subject. I love the Dollar Tree.